distinguished participant of the Arctic Circle Assembly, former President Olafur Grimson, dear all. Thank you for the invitation to speak to you today. It is an honor for me to stand here and speak on behalf of the government of Greenland on the subject of Arctic investment partnerships. It is also a pleasure to continue the discussion from the Arctic Circle Greenland Forum in August here at the Arctic Circle Assembly in Reykjavik. It is important to the government of Greenland, Nærekjarsvisut, to maintain our valuable partnerships with our Arctic neighbors. The Arctic Circle Assembly is a great way of meeting friends, partners, and allies in the Arctic, and to continue our ongoing dialogue on the future of the Arctic. However, we live in a global world and we need partnerships globally. We all experience the impact of the increasing instability in the world, in the world's economy, and we are affected by climate change, by COVID-19 pandemic, by global security concerns, and the increasing inflation on products on the world's market. It means we are working towards being less dependent on one industry or one partnership, as we in the past years have learned how quickly everything can, can change, we need to diversify. Fishing is a great importance to the Greenlandic society, and we are highly dependent on the fishing industry and its ability to export. The government of Greenland is very much focused on developing the Greenlandic economy and creating opportunity for the development of, development of new businesses, ad, adventures, and ad, investments. So in the recent month, I have spent time with stakeholders in the tourism sector in Greenland from the north to south. The Greenlandic tourism industry is growing fast. New hotels and new bigger airports in Nuuk, Irudiset, and Kakotok are being built. This creates new opportunities and challenges for the tourism industry in Greenland. This year, Greenland has been highest number of visiting cruise ships. However, we need to set higher standard in our cruise ship management to develop this sector sustainably. Fruitful partnerships in the Arctic should benefit all stakeholders, and it's need to happen in a sustainable fashion where nature stays unharmed and where the locals find it valuable rather than harmful. This morning I met with the Icelandic Tourism Board to learn more about their policies and experiences. When developing partnerships in the Arctic, we need to reach out to learn from each other so we can also inspire each other. Do better and thereby perhaps become better as future business partners as investment in the Arctic can be unexplored territory in some business areas. I'm also inspired by our friends in Alaska and their practices regarding cruise ship management, and I hope to discuss this topics, topic in more in, in the upcoming months. Nareka Suisut is starting the process of finding new partners and investors who are interested in building hydroelectric power plants in both Desertsjak and Desertduk Desertsua on the west part of coast of Greenland. Greenland's hydropower potential alone exceeds our own total energy demand several times and we are open to investors who want to develop the resources in industrial use of exporting and energy. 
especially in these times, energy security is of great importance and Greenland can be a reliable partner to help address these problems long term. Mining companies have been in Greenland for several years and Nadegger Suisut is committed to increase the use of renewable energy in the mining sector whenever possible. Minerals from Greenland can be used for the production of renewable energy sources elsewhere in the world. New da data centers are also like likely to gain foothold in Greenland in the coming years, and these data centers are heavily reliant upon, upon affordable and sustainable energy. In Greenland, we are able to offer energy rates considerably lower than in, for instance, in, in for instance Europe. It is important for me to, to state the position of Narek Gersuisut on the Arctic investments. Our common investments are, and new partnerships will always put the Greenlandic population first. But we also know and understand that investors need to have returns from their investments. The right balances have to be found for good relationships. We will always design projects in cooperation with our partners to make sure to de deliver long-lasting benefits for local communities and to our partners. We also need to consider and address potential in environmental impact in appropriate ways. This is the sustainable way forward, socially, environmentally, and economically. I hope new potential investors see the reasoning behind this when we aim to work together in developing large-scale projects in Greenland while also creating opportunities for smaller entrepreneurships. My key message today is Greenland is open for investments and to establish new partnerships. We will engage in dialogue with new partners while continuing our relations with existing valued partners. We are open to work together across private and public boundaries, across sectors and across borders to develop new Arctic investment and partnerships. I look forward to hear more perspective and reflections from the distinguished panel regarding these issues. I would like to wish all participants an inspiring conference as we gain insight, engage in discussions, and strengthening partnership at this assembly. Thank you. Bueno.